Namaste Travelers, Tara here. I'm coming to you today with a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for June 2016. This is a general reading and the messages will not resonate with all, in which case please try to come back and view your Moon and Rising Sign. Maybe there will be messages there for you. Uh, Mercury has gone direct on the 22nd. However, it takes a, a couple of weeks for planets to get back up to speed. So by June 7th, um, the all of the Mercury retrograde delays, communications, miscommunications, misunderstandings, lost emails, broken phones, raggedy calls, all of that is going to kind of clear up around June 7th. We do still have Saturn. Pluto and Mars in retrograde. I think there's one more planet. I'm not exactly sure which one that is. Um, the sun has moved into Gemini. I cannot believe we are already uh, the official start of summer here in the States with Memorial Day coming up this weekend. We are six months into the year 2016. I really, I, it's just, it's flying by. It's crazy. Um, we'll just see what the cards have to say. Um, Please keep in mind this is a general reading, um, and that means that you know if you want more insight into your situation, then uh, book a personal reading. Um, this is general. There are millions of Capricorns in the world, so I will tell you guys this much: I have Capricorn rising, and whenever you, your rising sign is how you appear to the world, how people see you from the outside. We have Saturn in Sagittarius. And it is coming near the end of its two-year Saturn return for Sagittarius. It will be moving into Capricorn um, in 2017. And for those of us um, who Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, I think we're going to be challenged in ways that have to deal with uh, the way we are perceived um, the sun is the actual yourself ego. The moon is going to be challenged in your perceptions, your emotional perceptions. And the rising sign is just how we appear. So this could literally be that we may have some trouble with our image in some way. So for those of you who um, are in the public eye, I would suggest that um, when the Saturn comes next year into Capricorn, that you be very cautious with any type of image that you have. If it's a profile, if it's a website, if it's a blog, um, even at work, the, the perception of how you're going to be perceived will be challenged. Okay, and you're gonna be we're gonna be challenged to figure out how to fix that issue. So, but what we're dealing with now, I just thought about that as I was um, shuffling these cards. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna read on um what is coming up for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising? Remember I said that to you now, okay? Um, we're going to see what's coming up for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of June 2016. We're going to do the um, Hidden Lotus Spread and see what our hidden element is, what could be a challenge. Okay, here we go. Well, 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 we are getting some kind of fresh start or offer. And this could be where the challenge comes up next year. Let's see. Two aces. Wow. And the three of coins. Now, right off the bat... I have these beautiful two aces here. And in effect, this ten of coins, the energy changing over is going to be a one. So this in effect is like uh, the ace of coins. I think that's so ironic that we're, we're going to be getting these opportunities and then boom, we're going to be hit with something next year. <laughs> But anyway, if anybody can do it, Capricorns can do it. Tenacious and determined and stubborn is not a word, okay? It's not a thing. It ain't nothing but a chicken wing. But I can see that for a lot of you Capricorns, you have had 
some great brand new things present themselves to you and you have been moving forward you have gotten your plans I mean Capricorns love to plan long-range vision and uh, this is about long-term planning and contemplation okay which direction do you want to go in with these new things okay it is literally the wands is about the desire and the willpower to get those things done okay you got it all right it will bring you not only new offers but an opportunity for a fresh emotional start some of you have done this really literally willing yourself okay or as this card indicates you really been working hard and if you you know that Capricorn you guys work really really hard Okay, this is almost, this is a card of the apprentice. This is a, the, the card of mastery. You're almost there. You know, and that guy is literally making money. Okay. Um, and in one respect, this is the earn while you learn card. So whatever it is you're doing, whatever lessons you can get out of it, please try to do that because they're going to serve us well moving into next year. I say us because that is my rising sign. Now, In one respect, it, it speaks to, though, as if there could be a marriage coming up. I have this Three of Cups, some type of celebration, a fresh new start with the um, Hierophant. And the Hierophant represents structure, organizations, institutions, social norms, doing the right thing, and it also represents marriages. Okay? But then... With the, I can't ignore the fact that I have two threes, actually three threes here, which indicates that for some of you, there is a third party involved in whatever this is. And this could be why some of you have moved away. All right. I have these two cards, both traveling out this way. Okay. This could be moving from a bad situation to a better situation. All right. Um, but it could also literally mean moving by water, over water, near water. Both of these cards are coming from west to east, including this one. Maybe some of you have gotten a new offer to come in. It could be a love offer. It could be a work offer. Whatever it is, it's an offer that's going to make you feel pretty darn good. Okay. And so if you had to move, maybe you've had to move, you know, due to this offer that has come in. Um, but still with the two threes, in a sense, it tells me that with this Ace of Wands, with this Ace of Cups, and the future coming up energy of the Ace of Coins, that you have really wholeheartedly um, put yourself into whatever this thing is to move forward with it and to try to leave anything that was bad with it behind. Um, and it is the building of a new foundation. Um, remember I said that, um, Saturn is going to come next year and for us, anybody's son, that is literally the way you appear to other people, um, the moon, how your emotions are perceived or how, you, you know, people perceive your emotional state and rising, how you appear to other people. Well, you notice that guy's on a bench and you have people looking at him. Okay, so whatever this start is that's coming, we're going to kind of be under a microscope in some respects. All right. And this is not to say, and listen, Saturn rules Capricorn. So we may be able to handle this, this energy a lot better than other people because it rules. It, it's all about us putting in place the structures, the foundations and not being afraid to do the work. And I don't know one Capricorn, Capricorns can work and work and work. They never get tired. They aren't discouraged when things don't go right. They just rethink it. They figure it out. They plan it. They plot it. They are ambitious. They're social climbers. And I don't mean these things <laughs> in a negative way. And they like to have stuff built up. They love that. And they want their crap paid for and insured. Okay? Um, so I don't even know what to pull cards on uh, with the Sabilas because... I really don't see anything negative about this. I, I, this is what I'll do. I'm going to take a look at the Six of Swords. 
I want to take a look. Literally, I think some of you may be deciding to take a relationship to the next level. See, I have the 10. This could be a house move as well. These two cards. Buy a new love offer. Maybe some of you have popped the question or you plan on popping the question, proposing, or some maybe someone has been has proposed to you and you've decided now is the time you want to join your forces with someone because you're going to be stronger together as a unit than you will be separately. Um, this, If this is the case, even if this is a work situation, let's say you're moving away uh, to get a new job, uh, you're going to fit in well in that place. Um, and it's going to serve you well going forward. Um, I really, this is, you know, some of you may even be going back to school. Um, I mean, it goes from an eight to a 10 and these are, these are lovely, lovely cards. The three of wands supports the ace of wands. And then I have these three cups here. And then that would be three pentacles. So, I mean, just, this is beautiful. What this looks like to me is it looks like a complete and utter change on all levels. But this card here, even though it's a positive card in, in a sense, I think there will be some challenges with this Three of Pentacles. And the timing of the card is December 31st to January 9th. That's 2017, people. That's the timing. When Saturn moves into Capricorn, and Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So as I say, we may be able to handle Saturn a whole lot better because we're so used to having limitations and restrictions on moving forward. We, we tend to go slow. Not necessarily, and we don't view those limitations and those challenges or those delays as being real problems. We just, you know, put our nose to the grindstone and we work it out. Um, figure out another way. Let's look at this. Uh, I want to look at the Six of Swords and then the Three of Coins. And really, there's nothing else for me to look at in this. Oh, wait. I got a card underneath that Ace, don't I? Just like I said, it's like maybe there were three people in a situation and somebody has decided, okay, that's enough of that crap. The male lover, whether this is a same-sex relationship, heterosexual, there is a male lover. Uh, there is no communication there. Lots of passion, but no communication. And, and I guess, you know, things built up, this turns into, a, that's over now. That's, that's over now, and I've got this fresh new start that's coming to me. This could be even the opening of intuition of you finally going, being able to see the light. You put that work in. You tried so long and so hard to make this situation work, and you finally just realize it's not, it's not going to work. So you decide to get on up. Okay? You do have this. And in a sense, it's like once you move, you make this move, it's like all of a sudden you're free. Okay. And maybe that's how Saturn works in Capricorn is instead it, it challenges everybody else, but it kind of gives us a freedom, but we still have to work within a particular framework. Okay. Because I have the vegetable and this is uh, a situation that is done. Um, it is in the past and it's done. We can go back and revisit it. But if you're true Capricorns, you don't spend a whole lot of time doing that. You may analyze it to death so that you don't repeat it all over again. Um, remember I said for some of you, this could be um, either you joining forces with someone, um, whether it is romantic, uh, work-related, because I think this encompasses all, this spread, the way the cards fell, the way they look. The energy that's coming off of them, this is literally going to be a brand new start in all areas, okay? And perhaps what we're being asked, those of us who resonate with that Capricorn energy, is to don't be so serious now, to maybe loosen up, because we are going to have some work to do coming up. So let's enjoy whatever these new opportunities are uh, that we have. Maybe we should spend a little bit more money. And we know we like to find things. So spend a little bit, some, get some quality. You know, um, 
the reunion, the meeting, the Belvedere, and the Messagere. If this is a relationship issue, you joining forces with another person, uh, building a new foundation for something, uh, but other people are going to be watching this, which means that this could be a relationship where it's public, very, very public. Um, it could be in a sense that maybe you guys are marrying each other to help each other out in business or public relations, something like that, but it's going to be very, very public. Keep that in mind. Messagieri. If this is a job, then you're going to... Um, the reunion would indicate it's someone that you know. Okay, so maybe you've applied for a job and you haven't heard back, but now you're going to be given a step up and you're looking for that news. It's going to be coming, this offer. Um, so go ahead and start making your plans right now. Again, you're going to be in a public arena. Please bear that in mind. Now, I don't know who I just read for, but this stinking guy has been showing up <laughs> and showing up. I don't know who this king of wands is, if he is a person. But he has been ruling the past two or three months in readings, both here on YouTube and personally. So if this is not a person, this is really the Saturn and Sagittarius because it was hidden underneath this ace. Okay. And it's kind of saying that this period of Saturn and Sag Sagittarius for the Capricorns, are going to bring something really lovely and really new for us. Now, if this is a person, if he is not a fire sign individual, then he's going to be a business person. He's going to be someone who's very, very dynamic. Uh, he's going to draw attention. He's going to be outgoing and gregarious, fun. He may be extremely loose with his money. Uh, someone who likes to be noticed, who can be selfish in some ways. Um, so either if that's if this is a person, this is who is coming up for you. That's the hidden element. Maybe you have met this person already. Maybe some of you are getting married to someone like this, whether it's heterosexual or same sexual, whoever is going to take the male in the role. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, he's coming. He's coming and he's going to have already worked on his stuff. He's going to already have some stuff built up. He's going to be someone who's like this, who's structured. He's going to, he, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's either going to be the head of a corporation or he's going to own a business. Um, but he's also someone who's going to have some really, really good advice. Um, you know, and take that for what it's worth. Um, always trust your own intuition. Okay. Um, but it's someone, and see, there's keys at the bottom of this. And this could literally mean keys to a new home. Or having the knowledge to unlock something. And if that is the case, it will be this person and this energy is going to unlock, unleash a lot of potential. A lot. Um, just bear in mind that there's going to be a lot of public interest surrounding whatever this is. Um, and you will be being watched. This is coming up into next year. So you know, clean out them closets. Um, be on your P's and Q's. Get your facts straight. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope the message has helped. I'm really excited. Um, and so... That's it. Namaste. I'm excited. Wow.